patiently waiting for a message from her boyfriend. Not in front, not in front of the door, not at the balcony, but in front of her laptop. It was 1 a.m. and her father came inside the room and said, Dear, it's too late. Why don't you rest? Don't spoil your hair. It's just one month away and from my CAT exams. Let me study, Dad. You, you, you don't worry. Take care. You take rest. You can go back, she said, a little impatient. Dad moved out of the room, thinking a responsible daughter. She knows what to do. As he moves out of the room, she hears a dumb sound and the chat room opens for Amar and herself. Mr. Contest Jai, fellow Toastmasters and friends. It sounds very familiar, isn't it? For the teenagers, for the dads and for myself as well. 1 a.m. when my fiancé used to call from office during those days, those small murmurs never used to go unheard by my mother. <coughs> but all this started years, years ago in the name of communication through between the Adam and the Eve through the snakes. Then the same thing continued with the, with a little higher uh, animals in the order of evolution through the big pigeons. The Lela and the Majnu chatted through their love notes which they sent through the pigeons. But, never, but nevertheless, Devdas and Parvati are also unforgettable. They did it through their letters. The change is always because of the bad things that happened in the past and the experience. Now, even with the letters, Devdas and Parvati's let, Devdas letters to Parvati were first read by the mother, by Paro's mother, and you know what happened next. The lady went, started becoming more charming and happy than Parvati herself. Then came the age when the telephones were the integral part of the family. The telephones, the landlines were first, the signs of, the, the lovers made their signs through these uh, code, codes through which they used to communicate. Two rings and cut the call. Three times this happens and the fourth time, half an hour later, the girl is out for a special class. <laughs> it happens now as well, but through the mobile phones, through a few missed calls. But lateral to all these things, is an, is, a, is an era of internet where a lot of things have been going on which are noticed by a few of, the, few of them who are into it completely and few of them are noticed unheard of all these things. The emails, the chats and the social networking sites. Or could Facebooks are things a few of us are totally involved and addicted in and a few of us unheard and unspoken about. Carrying forward the incident of Shruti and Amar through the social networking sites, they met and after days and days and months of chatting, they decide to meet. Of course, where else than in the cafe coffee day? They decided to be dressed in red. Shruti with her best red salwar, beautifully dressed with, with all her makeup and all the accessories on, and Amar decided to wear a red t-shirt with a nice cap. They meet as Shruti enters Cafe Coffee Day with all her heart throbbing and to see her to see her man dressed in the dress that they decided to wear. <coughs> she enters she has all expectations she's thinking of a man who's tall, handsome, bright, looking nice Sitting, sitting cross, uh, with his legs crossed and waiting for her, looking at the door. But what, what she sees is a man who is 40 years old with a huge tummy <laughs> who looked like a gas cylinder himself. <laughs> Isn't this an irony of these social networking sites and the relationships that we built, built through them? The, oh, what's the risk in it? The hidden nature of all of the relationship in this site, in these sites, just allows anybody to be a predator and hunt for anything that they want without being caught. 
what men fudge is all this they say occasional smokers and they are all set to put the whole pack of cigarettes in their mouth and let it on fire occasional drinkers they mean to say they drink only when they see hot alcohol <laughs> fun lovers mean to say that you provide me fun and i will try to have fun and what else they say they are goal oriented career oriented just a matter to whine about about the job that they are not happy with and they are not ready to even do something about it but with all these things we, we definitely have something that we have carried through generations the hugs and the happy dating and the cozy talks on in a park isn't this something that we are missing out through just sitting in on an internet and talking on to someone spending all the time without even knowing who he is let's just get out of this virtual dating and get into real and still enjoy the happy hugs and spend happy moments in the parks and in public places that's more fun than what's on an internet over to you